This is how you can make a gift command for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if they get the Custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, Go and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video so we're going to go ahead and start off by going over to the google tenor api you can get here by clicking the link in the description below once you're here you're going to go ahead and scroll down to get a tenor api key and you're just going to click here then you can go ahead and create a new project or select a project and you're going to go ahead and click on that project and then you can go ahead and click next and then here you're going to go ahead and generate an api key and you can actually go ahead and click show API key. Now it's important to remember what project you selected here because we're gonna be using this later. So for me, I selected test. So just note that down along with the API key you generated because we're gonna be using that in just a second. So after you've gotten your key and the project name, we can actually go over to our code. We can go over to community and we can go ahead and create gift searcher.js. And here we can do const slash command builder. And then we can do equals require and we're gonna go ahead and get our discord.js package. Then we can do const super agents equals require and we're gonna go ahead and get our super agent package. Next, we can go ahead and create our command. So we can do module.exports. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. We can get our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be gift searcher. And we can go ahead and set a description here. We can go ahead and say, search for a gif and we can go ahead and add a string option we're going to go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name we can go ahead and make this query because that's what we're going to be searching for we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say what to search for and we're also going to go ahead and set required to true i'm actually going to go ahead and change this to gif search because that's a little bit easier in the actual title of that command. We can add a comma, we're gonna do async executes, we can go ahead and get our interaction, and we're gonna go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna go ahead and start by deferring a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply. And we're gonna go ahead and set informal to true. That way, only you can see the message. Uh, next, we can do const, we're gonna go ahead and get our options, and we can set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const query equals options dot get string. That is going to be our query string. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our variables. So we're gonna go ahead and do const key equals. This is going to be the API key that we just went ahead and created within that tenor uh, API site in the beginning. Uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy that key in here. Obviously, I'm gonna put it in at the end so that I don't have to blur it out, but just make sure you put that in the string. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do a const client key and we can do equals. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this the name of your project. So like I said in the beginning, I got that API key from the test project. So so I'm gonna put in test. Now, if there's something different, you're gonna go ahead and put in that project name. So then after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and make our limit variable. So we can do const LMT equals, and it's going to be a number. So however many results you want to actually generate, this is gonna be the number you wanna put in. For me, I'm gonna do eight. That's what they did in the documentation for this. And that's what I recommend doing. Next, we can actually go ahead and make a choice. So we're gonna do let choice equals math.floor, and we can do math.random, and we can multiply this function by our our LMT variable. So basically what this function is going to do is it's going to go ahead and dictate which choice we're actually going to use and send in the message. So let's say we're given eight results from the API, right? That's our limit. It's going to go ahead and choose a random number from zero to eight, and it's going to pick that number, and then it's going to go ahead and send that result in the channel. So that way we can get a little bit different results every time and not just send the same exact GIF over and over and over again whenever you put in that identical search query. After doing that, we can actually go ahead and make our link. So we can do const link equals, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this in because it's a little bit complicated to type. Unfortunately, you are going to have to type it in. Go ahead and pause the video now and just copy down this exact link here. Um, this is what you're going to want to use for it. Don't mess this up because this is what we're going to be pulling from using the API. So just make sure you get that correct. So then after doing that, we're going to go ahead and make our output. So we can do const outputs equals await super agent that gets, and we're going to go ahead and get the link that we just wrote out. And then we can go ahead and catch an error because we're actually going to be receiving all of our errors within the try that we're about to write. So now we can actually go ahead and write that try. So we're going to do try. We can go ahead and open this up. We're going to do await interaction edit reply. And we can do content and we can do output dot body dot results. And in here is where we're going to use that choices variable. So we can just go ahead and put choice and then we can do dot item URL. 
So we're basically gonna go ahead and get the results from that output that we got from the link. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a random number out of eight. So zero to eight, and we're gonna input that in there. So, and then after doing that, it's gonna go ahead and select that random value. And it's gonna take the item URL and send that in the message. So this is how we're gonna be receiving our GIF. So now we can actually handle that error. So we can do catch error. And we're gonna go in and return await interaction edit reply. And we can say content. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in a caution emoji just like that. And we can say I could not find a matching gif to. And we can do backslash check. We're gonna go ahead and put in query. And we can do an exclamation mark just like that. So that is going to be for all our errors. So let's say the gif does not exist, right? The query you search for is so obscure that it does not actually exist within Tenor. This is gonna go in and catch an error and send that message. That's pretty much the only error you're gonna get. Um, when sending this as long as you put in this link correctly um, and you put in your API key like you should and the correct project. Now, for some reason, if you were to get this error for a very obvious search term like dog or something, then just go ahead and remove this try and send the message to troubleshoot your error. But this will work once you know your project is actually working. So that we are actually done. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my API key. So you can do that if you haven't already, just make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, and after you do that, we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this command out. So we can go ahead and run our gif search command and we can just go ahead and put in our query. So I'm just gonna start off with a very, very broad term. We can just do dog. We're gonna go ahead and send that. And as you can see, it's gonna give me a random dog GIF. Now I'm gonna do this again. We can go ahead and put in that same exact query. It's gonna give me a different GIF. So if we do this, it's gonna give me a random GIF out of the eight results. Now, as you can see here, it's gonna give me the same one. So that math random out of the eight results we got given back to us from the API, it shows the same number. So that's why we're actually using that function because if we just put in zero, it would give us the first result. So what I mean by that is if we were to search dog in here, Every time we search dog, it would give us this result. That's why we're using the math random. So we can do this one more time, we're gonna get dog. As you can see, it's a different GIF this time. So we can search something a little bit more complicated here. Um, we can do discord moderator, something like that. It's a little bit different. And as you can see, it's gonna give me a GIF. Um, and we're actually gonna go ahead and copy this command. So we can just search the query over and over again and we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's gonna give me a different one this time as well. So that's you can make a GIF search command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.